we are conditioning ourselves for the next asan class we stand in sthita prarthana asana steady prayer pose stand tall smile broad both the palms at the center of the chest chin parallel to the ground focus on your breath feel the air coming in going out don't control your breath let it be natural just feel it we start with the prayer hum apne man ko hamesha santulit rakhna hai ise mai hamara atma vikas samaya hai हम अपने मन को हमेशा संतुलित रखना है इसी में ही हमारा आत्मविकास समाया है आत्मविकास समाया है आत्म विकास समाया है हरि ओम तत्सत जय गुरुदेव गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबॉडी नमस्ते सुप्रभात गुड मॉर्निंग क्रिस्टिना गुड मॉर्निंग हाउ आर यू आई एम रियली गुड गुड हाउ आर यू शैल वी स्टार्ट यस सर फॉर श्योर टेक अ सेट ओके सो स्टैंड टॉल start moving your shoulders rotate them other way around <clears throat> release change backward other way around and relax slowly take your hands in front at shoulder level take your palms up good drop them down up down up <coughs> down and relax <coughs> rotate clockwise <coughs> other way side good other way round <coughs> good and relax okay now squeeze your palms squeeze them tight not face <laughs> and open your palms okay and open them wide good relax now take the hand at shoulder sideways palms down up down up down relax rotate clockwise okay good and relax start plank good higher slowly <laughs> yeah <laughs> and slowly take your hands down relax turn your head to the right first center left center right 
center, left, center, relax. Drop your head to the right side, center, left side, center, right side, center, left, center. Drop your head in front, down, no, drop it down, complete, down, down, down. Okay, good, tuck your chin on your neck, come up, all the way up and back. Center, down, up, and back. Center. Now rotate your head clockwise, anti-clockwise. Perfect. And other way around. And relax. Okay. Hands on your hip, hip rotation, slowly rotate your hip, other way around, good and relax. Now just lift your toe up, flex it down, up, <coughs> down. Up, down, good. Flip it sideways, good. Now rotate clockwise, other way around. Relax, change. Left leg up, <coughs> down, up, down, up, down. Sideways, good, and relax, okay. clockwise, other way around, relax. <clears throat> Just come on your toes a little bit. Just come and down, up and down, okay? Relax. Now ready for Ekpadasan series. <clears throat> Eyes focus, slowly lift your leg, place it on your opposite thigh and put your palms in Namaste. Ek Padasan, standing on one leg. Change. It's an excellent asana to improve your concentration. Release. The next is Brukshasana. Slowly lift your leg, place it on your opposite thigh. Padmasana, standing variation. Good. Once the leg is locked, then take your arms up and stay there. Change. Other side. Lot of parents come with their kids to Hansama. And you know, it's always the parents, they complain about that. The kids, okay, they, they are not steady. They, not, they can't focus. They can't do this and that. So the Hansama make them do Ekpadasan series. Release. So very, very effective, for, especially for kids, if you make them want to focus, this. Then next is standing Pavan Muktasana. Release. Pavan Muktasana, three variations, standing, sitting, lying down. So one is standing this. We are not holding the breath, okay? Release. Now those who are suffering from the hypertension, cardiac problem will not do this. Pregnant lady will not do this variation of Pavan Muktasan, side variation. So slowly lift your leg up, take the hand out and do. So 
So when we do Marichasan sitting, master of the Marichasan, so this variation of Pavan Muktasan will be very easy to do it. Change other side. <coughs> Eyes focus throughout the practice, breathe normal. Release. Ardha Utkatasan, half squat. Good. Now do Namaste and keep squatting down a little bit. The pressure shouldn't come on your knee, it should come on your thighs. Accordingly, stretch your arms up in the air. You can adjust your upper body where you shift the pressure from the knee on the thighs. Change. Other side. Perfect. Release. Now today we'll do Ardha Utkat Kati Vakrasana. <laughs> Forget the name. See the, what is it? Okay. So it's very easy to do. So sit, hand in front. Yes. See what she's doing? Yeah. Then fold the knee. Excellent. Hold your opposite toe and then take the arm up. Change, come back, other side, left, superb, good. And release. Try one more round, same thing, good. Perfect. Now, if you observe, your hip is shifting sideways, so ah, align the hip, Exactly in the body, now you'll come to know the twist. Kati Vakrasana, Ardha Utkata Kati Vakrasana, change. Other side. Excellent. Focus on the alignment of the, that's perfect, Christina. Good. And release. Now, if you find this easy, Difficult. We'll give the easy way. Okay. So what is the easy way? Is the namaste and twist. Excellent. Perfect. Once you press the elbow on your knee, keep twisting up. Again, alignment of the hip. Hip should be aligned. That's better. And you can apply pressure from your upper palm. Change. Other side. Superb. Focus alignment of the hip, perfect. And back and relax. The last variation, we'll try one more round. Just watch very slowly, step by step. Namaste, one, then two, twist, squat, place it, that's it. Now once you lock it, it's twist and alignment of the hip, perfect. You can apply the pressure from the upper palm to make it intense, change. Other side, one, two, perfect. Lock it. And release, come back and relax. Comfortable? Yes. Good. Okay. So we'll start with the Samakonasan, Dvikonasan, and Trikonasan. Okay. So slowly take your arms up, bend forward till your upper body is parallel to the ground. Excellent. Now feel the weight on the toes, focus on the lower back and hamstrings. Keep stretching your arms in front, palm facing downwards. Slowly come back, hands down, one more round, 
slowly take your arms up, push your body forward, <coughs> shift the weight on the toes. And up and relax. Second asana is Dvikonasana, two angles of the body. Lock the fingers, push the arms down, open your chest. First angle of the body, your upper, palm, upper body and leg should be 90 degree. Now slowly lift your hands up, that's perfect. Dvikonasana, two angles of the body. Chin up, hands on back and slowly come back. One more round. Stretch your arms, open your chest, bend forward, chin up, stay there, arms up, hands on back, and slowly come back and relax. Comfortable? Trikonasan. <coughs> Hand at shoulder, slowly push your body forward, lower your hands down, touch your fingers to the toe, keep the fingers straight. Feel the weight on the toe again. Stretch your hands at shoulder. Stay there and hands down. One more round. Slowly take your hands at shoulder. Push your body forward slowly. Lower your hands down. Touch your fingertips to the toe. Good. Slowly come back. Hand at shoulder and down. Relax. Move your shoulder. <coughs> okay. Today we'll do Trikonasana 2. Okay. So Trikonasana first, what we practice now. Now Trikonasana 2, comfortable distance. Two to and half feet, hands at shoulder, palm facing front, turn the right toe out, stretch your body to the right and slowly go down. Now first you place the palm in front of the toe, front of the toe, all the way down. Go Christian all the way down. Place, it, place the palm on the floor, that's perfect, okay? So first we'll do this, so we'll just get ready for the trikonasin with the alignment. So this variation, you're just taking support of the floor. You can stay there comfortably, establish in the asana, breathe normal, come back, toe in, toe out. Slowly stretch your body sideways, place the palm in front of the toe, relax. Slowly come back, toe in, drop the hands down and relax, okay? Now the next variation is for the alignment of the body. So here we are not placing palm in front, we just go sideways down, okay, as far as you can without compromising the posture, ready? Right toe out, both the hands in front, palm facing outside, okay, stretch your arm and very slowly lower your body down. That's it. Now focus is on the alignment of your hip. Perfect. Okay. Breathe normal. Slowly come back. Toe in. Toe out. Stretch your body sideways all the way. And down. Good. Come back, two in, and relax. One more round, we'll do it very slowly. <clears throat> take a comfortable distance. For this Trikonasana, ideal position when you take the distance, the distance between your toe is length of your leg, okay? And feet parallel, that is outer edge of the feet for starting position, hand at shoulder, palm facing front, turn the toe out, Excellent. 
stretch your body to the side, right side, and slowly go down. Perfect. Now focus on the alignment of the hip. Good. Slowly come back. Toe in, toe out. Stretch your arm sideways. Perfect. Release and relax. <clears throat> the next variation in this is a parivartit revolving. We twist and we place the palm first in front of the toe and at the back of the toe. Okay. So now this variation, before you look up at the palm which is up, don't be in a hurry, especially with the high numbers. Okay, you may lose balance. So first, stay. Focus on the stability of the asan. Take the hands at shoulder. Now palm facing downward. Turn the right toe out. Twist your right all the way. Now stretch your left hand. Excellent. You can keep the right hand on the back first. Okay. Now focus on the left palm. First we place the palm in front of the toe. Don't look up first. Make sure you are comfortable in the asan. Then just stretch the left hand up and stay there. Good. Excellent. Take the right hand on the back first and slowly look down and come up. Hands at shoulder, both the hands at shoulder. Toe in, toe out, left toe out. Twist to your left, stretch your right hand and slowly place the palm in front of the left toe, right palm in front of the parivartit, revolving trikonasana. Then if you are comfortable, take the left hand up in the air. Slowly take the left hand on the back. Stretch your right hand, look at your right palm, stretch your right hand. Slowly come back, both the hands at shoulder, toe in and down. We repeat one more round, just watch carefully. First, we are placing the palm in front of the toe. Today, we'll press the palm in front. Then from the next week, we'll start pressing palm at the back of the toe. Ready? Okay. Last round of Trikonasan, Parivartit. Hands at shoulder, toe out, right. Twist to your right. Stretch your left hand. Good. And slowly go down. Place the palm on the... and full palm, heel of the palm on the floor. It is not only fingertips. Then take the hand up, breathe normal. Take the right hand on the back. Look at your left palm, slowly stretch it and come back. Excellent, hand at shoulder. Good, toe in, toe out. Twist, stretch your arm slowly the palm in front of the toe and look up. Okay. Hand on the back. Look at your right palm. Slowly take it in front. Hand that shoulder, toe in and down. Sit. <coughs> Catch your breath. Comfortable? Mm -hmm. Good. So today we'll start with the Marjarasana. So sit here in the Vajrasana. Okay. <clears throat> so first we sit in the Vajrasana. Vajrasana is a very, very effective and powerful asana. Vajrasana. Indra ka ayudha ye. Okay, it's a weapon of Indra. Very powerful. Now, how we go for the Marjarasana? So, how we judge? So, place the excellent elbows touching to the knee, place the palm, and then walk with the one, one palm ahead. Excellent. Knees apart, knees and palms are aligned. This is the starting position. Now, press your hip down. No, first variation down. That's it. And look up. The full focus is on the 
this pressing it down and lifting it now tuck your chin on your chest and lift your back up angry cat release and lazy cat <laughs> angry cat <laughs> center lazy cat come little bit just ah uh, no, no 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 that, that, that not hand just ha yes now you get it okay so this is important take the chin in and lift your back up 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 perfect come back to the center and slowly slide your body into shashank asana <clears throat> this series marjarasan is a very 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 effective posture marjarasan to take care of your lower back especially all the ladies working hard with all the family in the house you really need marjarasan okay so this is very important and very relaxing posture shashank asana so when you are tired you just lie down in the shashank asana the next is prushtasana we'll do next one okay now come up for vyagrasana tiger pose knees apart again distance good bring the right knee in drop the head and slowly take the leg up now your leg should resemble like your tail vyagrasana bring the knee down then slowly bring the left leg in left knee in drop the head touch it and slowly take the leg up excellent now this is important without tilting the hip you are taking it up it should be a little bit folded feel it come back to the center lie down in shashank asana relaxation in between the asana is very important part of your sadhana practice one more round of yagrasan tiger pose take the position <clears throat> drop the head in knee in slowly take the leg up inhaling all the way up excellent release we are breathing normal in the final position of the asana knee in exhaling inhaling leg up look up that's better breathe normal then come back now we going to prushthasana perfect <clears throat> so in between we are relaxing in the shashank asana or prushthasana Now last round we'll do this we'll make it intense so take the position for vyagrasan kristina knees apart good now drop the head down bring the knee in slowly take the leg up now hold it with your opposite hand perfect once you get the hold like dhanurasan or natarajasan we'll have to push the leg away from the body excellent release and change other side drop the head in slowly leg up hold the toe with your opposite hand good once you get the hold push your leg away from the body okay release slowly go into prasthasan <coughs> it's a excellent asana for your low back then slowly slide down into shashank asana go back into shashank from prasthasana and relax your body okay come back slowly sit face there center at the mat bhadrasana okay 
So today we'll do Janu Shirasans and variation, Pad Prasar Pashimottanasan and variations. Okay. So first, take the legs in front, both the legs in front first. Come a little bit back so you can. That's it. Perfect. Okay. Now we'll do this with the Ardha Sukhasan. So fold your right leg, Ardha Sukhasana. Good. Okay. Now stretch your arms and bend forward. Excellent. Breathe normal. Come up. Twist to your right. All the way. First twist and stretch and then go down. Excellent. Come up. Now we go down in the center. Perfect. And relax. Initially, if the hips are lifting comfortably, lift, lift, let them lift. No, no, don't focus. When you stay in the asan for longer, the gravity will pull the hips down and you get the nice stretch. Back. And relax. Change the leg. <coughs> Left leg in. Ready? Stretch your arm. Ardha Sukhasan. Down. So this is Janu Shirasan. Come up. Twist to your left. Stretch your arms. Go down slowly. Up, center, <clears throat> relax the body, breathe normal, and come back, and relax. Sit in Bhadrasana. <clears throat> Bend forward. Exhaling, we are going down. Hypertension, cardiac problem. Pregnant ladies will avoid this variation of Bhadrasana. Perfect. Come up. Now we'll do some variations in Bhadrasana or Pada Prasar Pashimottanasana. So take the right leg out. Different institute, different name. Asana is the same, effect is the same. Okay. So first, we bend in the center, so go down, just stretch your arms in front, excellent. Breathe normal. <clears throat> Come back. Now twist your left, slowly stretch your body in the left side and go down. Excellent. Good. Do it very slowly. Again, if the hips are lifting, comfortable. Stay there for longer and you'll feel body is establishing in the asan. Sthiram, Sukham, Asanam. Come up. With the left hand, hold your right toe. Left, no, straight. Left hand, down. That's it. Right hand on the back. Keep looking up and go down. Slowly. Now come back. Now, the same hand. Same hand. Yes. Perfect. Take the hand up and down. Now the focus is on the twisting. As you keep twisting, you get a nice stretch. Then slowly release, come back. And leg in, leg out. <coughs> Comfortable? Mm -hmm. Bend forward. Relax, hips are coming up, no problem. Let them come up. 
come back, twist to your right, go down all the way to your right, good. <clears throat> Up, now right hand, left toe, right hand, left toe, left hand on the back, Keep looking up and slowly go down. Chin. Always try to focus on the chin to the knee or shin bone, whatever. So it opens up your back. Come back and relax. Both the legs in in Bhadrasana. <coughs> now hold your toes and slowly. Take the toes out for Meru Dandasana. Slowly. Good. It is full pressure comes on the core. You are holding the asana only with the strength of your core. Release. Now stretch your legs out, Pada Prasara. And we will try it for the Pashimottanasana, Pada Prasara. Okay. So first, we go with the right hand to the left toe. No, side, downwards. Yes. Then left hand on the back. Good. Release. Change. Perfect. Release. Relax. Now take hands in the air. Both the hands up. Hold your elbows. Now twist to your side and go down. Drop your body to the one side. And with your upper, up, upper palm, you have to hold your toe. The other hand on the abdomen. The hand which is, uh, that's it. And keep twisting. Good. The full focus on the, this twist. As you twist, your body opens up. Then release, again take the hands above your head, hold your elbows, drop to the right, left side, then opposite hand, that's it. Twist, good, good, good. Then slowly release, take the arms up in the air first. Now slowly bend forward, Press the elbows on the floor first, step by step. Elbows on the floor, palms on the floor. Now if you are comfortable, you can stretch your body in front. It depends upon your, how the hips are open. Breathe normal. This is Hansama's favorite asana. IBY class, she will make us do, and she will keep talking. And we are there. And we'll say, Ma, just release the asana. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Come back. <laughs> okay, come back. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, bring the legs in. <clears throat> now, we'll go on the back. So, turn to your side slowly. T-shirt. <laughs> okay. So, turn to your side. Lie down on your back. Just relax your body first, do Shavasana a little bit, relax, go a little bit up, that's, that's it, perfect, okay, relax. So today we'll do Supta Vakrasana, so fold the legs into Pranam number 4 position, hands by side. <coughs> Now drop your knees to the right side and turn your head on the left side. Change. <clears throat> Release and relax. The same thing we'll do with the knees and toes apart. Take a comfortable distance. 
then slowly drop the knees to the right side. Turn your head on the left. If you want, you can press the right toe on your left knee. Feel the stretch. The asan start, the stretch starts from here and you can take it on your abdomen. Release. Change. Release and relax. Okay. Now we'll do this little bit like Garudasan. Lock the legs like Garudasan. Good. Then Supta Vakrasan in Garudasan. Now you'll feel one side the pressure comes. So you'll do that and then we'll change the leg position. Come back. Now change the position of the legs in Garudasan and so the knee which is up you will feel better on that side okay release and relax okay fold the legs now I'll give one excellent hip opener so lift your right leg place it on your left knee here now pull the leg towards you yes press it you will feel the pressure on the opposite thigh okay you get it okay. relax your head yes release change lift it release and relax keep the legs folded <coughs> Hold your ankles, Setu Bandhasana, and slowly push your hips up, go higher, tuck your chin on your chest, release, keep the hands by side. The second variation, we are not holding the ankles. Now, once you go up, you have to lock the fingers, so lift your hips up. Lock the fingers now. Now come on your toes, lift your heels up and stretch your arms and keep pushing your body up. Good. Release and relax. Okay. Comfortable? So, next variation will go for a First, we'll lift the body up and we'll leg the up in the air, okay? So, push your body up, Setu Bandhasan. Now, slowly lift your right leg. Excellent. Now, once you take the leg up, your body should, ah, that push your body up. It will not drop down. Bring it down. Other side. Push your body up, that's better. Down and relax. Do Pavan Muktasan. <clears throat> Lift your head, try to touch your chin to your knee. Release and relax. Comfortable? Okay. Turn to your side, taking support of your hand. First, we'll do <coughs> sit in Sukhasan. So, today we'll end the session with first we'll do the Brahmari and then we'll do Shavasan. Okay. Sit, you sit. I'll just, I'll stand, no problem. <coughs> okay. So, it's a Christina's favorite uh, pranayam, Brahmari. Anyone can practice this. We are, we'll, without, today we'll do without holding the breath. So we inhale and we just start humming. Clear? Mm -hmm. So everybody can practice this because there is no hold in this pranayam. Today's variation. Okay. Now, when you're inhaling, make sure you inhale very slowly. And when you start exhaling with the Brahmari sound, 
don't push the so don't hmm so do it very slowly let the air pass with the help of the noise okay ready so there is no holding today only inhale and we'll go for brahmari inhale start Good. Breathe normal. <coughs> One more round. Inhale. Start. Good. Breathe normal. One more round. Inhale. Start. Good. Breathe normal. Last round. Inhale. Start. Perfect. Relax. Now most difficult asan, shavasan. Okay, so lie down on your back. See now today we'll see there are variations of the asan practicing shavasana. Those who are not comfortable on the back, so those who are not comfortable on the back, first you lie down on the right side or left side. That is drudasan. But in this you keep the knees folded. Okay, or you can lie down on your abdomen. In Makarasan, toes together, heels apart, or Matsakridasan. So either way, you can practice this position for the relaxation. Then come on your back again. <coughs> so those who find it difficult keeping the legs straight, you can fold the legs in the Pranayam number four position. You can do Shavasan in this. Or you can do Supta Bhadrasan, feet together, knees apart. That's better. Okay. So you have choice. Whichever is asan is comfortable for you. You can practice while Shavasan. Those who are not comfortable on the back. Okay. Relax. Now you choose your asan, whichever is comfortable. <coughs> Those who are lying down on the back, make sure little bit distance between your feet. There is no pressure, no tension in the body. So today what we'll do, first we release the tension from the body. Okay. So first we stretch the body parts, we squeeze them and then we relax. No, skip the hands by side. So just squeeze your toes. Good. And relax. Now contract your calves. Just, yeah, that's it. Tighten your calves. Release. Now again, tighten your knees. Excellent. Thighs. Good. Release. Now contract your hips. Release. Now press your lower back on the floor. Keep pressing, keep pressing, keep pressing. Release. Now pull your abdomen in. Pull it in, in, in. Release. Now press your upper back on the floor. Press the upper back on the floor. Upper back on the floor. On the floor. Release. Now press your neck on the floor. Release. Now lift your shoulders towards your ear. Lift the shoulder towards ear. Release. Now squeeze your palms. Tighten them. And then slowly open. And relax. Turn your head to the right. 
center left center and the last now squeeze your face squeeze your eyes squeeze them tight release and slowly open your mouth and eyes wide open and relax that's it so there is no tension in the body relax okay so we have to practice shavasan with the vairagya bhava vitaraga detach yourself from the body i am not the body okay <clears throat> So very first thing for the Shavasana, next few minutes you will not move your body. No scratching, nothing, nothing. I'm not the body, okay? <clears throat> so we start with our toes. I relax my toes. My toes are... Relax. I relax my ankles. My ankles are relaxed. I relax my calves. My calves are relaxed. I relax my knees. My knees are relaxed. I relax my thighs. My thighs are Relax. I relax my groin. My groin I relax my arms. My arms are relaxed. I relax my abdomen. My abdomen relax. I relax my chest. My chest is Relax. I relax my shoulders. My shoulders are relaxed.
I relax my neck. My neck is relaxed. I relax my cheek. My chin is relaxed. I relax my lips. My lips are Relax. I relax my nose. My nose is relaxed. I relax my eyes. My eyes are relaxed. I relax my forehead. My forehead is relaxed. I relax my skull. My skull is. My whole body is relaxed. I am relaxed. I Achitam Keshavam Krushnida Mudaram Ramanarayanam Maya Shoda Kejase Sulate nahi Achitam Keshavam Krishna Damodaram 
राम नारायणम जानकी वल्लभम कृष्ण गोविंद गोपाल गाते चलो कृष्ण गोविंद गोपाल गाते चलो नाम जपते चलो काम करते चलो याद आएगी उनको कभी न कभी याद आएगी उनको कभी न कभी कृष्ण दर्शन तो देंगे कभी न कभी याद आई है उनको अभी के अभी कृष्ण दर्शन तो देंगे अभी के अभी कृष्ण दर्शन तो देंगे अभी के अभी।